Uh, but after about two rotations or a rotation and a half, airplane writes itself back up, but stays into a flat spin. And uh, so now we go through spin recovery procedures. I am, by the way, the high angle of attack subject matter expert in VF-124. I have been trained the most on teaching, briefing, understanding high AOA in the Tomcat, and to include departures. I had just watched a new video that said, when you're in a flat spin regime and you start to see yaw rate, immediately go stick aft into rudder opposite to stop the yaw rate. There was even a, a video of test airplanes from a guy, a guy named Baker up at high altitude. Airplane starts, he does the controls thing, and it kind of wobbles and it recovers. I have this training right here. It's not recovering. We must be about to enter a flat spin. As a student pilot, I know all the spin recovery procedures, and so we're going back, challenge and response, and the airplane is just staying in this spin, and we're not getting out of it. So I'm calling off altitude, calling off airspeed, I'm seeing the nose drop, and uh, telling this to Nasty, and he's telling me what he's seeing, and I'm seeing a flashing spin arrow in the back, and um, I call out 10,000 feet, because 10,000 feet is the point when you're supposed to eject if you're out of control. We go through 10,000 feet. Somebody's gonna recover this. So Slammer says 10,000 feet. And I went, uh-oh, mandatory eject altitude. Somebody's gotta recover this airplane so we can fly home. So I don't say a word. Go back down through, still don't have it, 8,000 feet. 8,000 feet, you got it? And I don't. And now I'm going, I'm 2,000 feet below eject altitude. I don't know what to do. I, I said, no, eject, eject, eject. So my cliche for eject was, I'm gonna say eject, eject, and then and we used to brief, I'll race you to the handles. There's really no option at this point. So the first step in the ejection sequence is for the Rio back seater to pull the canopy and blow that. So I did that and I think I'm the only Rio that has ever done that actually in an ejection sequence. Um, at least that's what I'll say. And no one on this, on this movie can uh, contradict me. Um, but then I decided to lean forward and see where the lower handle is. And the last thing you want to do before an ejection is not be in a perfectly upright and vertical position. Because as you eject, it's about 28 Gs and you go racing out of the cockpit. I didn't get that brief. So I was leaning over when Nasty pulled the seat. So I reach up, grab the lower face curtain, and I pull. And I do the standard sitting up straight, and I pull the face curtain, and I pull down to my chest, and I sit for what seems like minutes. Now, on the way down, I'm looking through these big handles, and the canopy comes off, and it goes boom, slow motion. Brown smoke, no kidding, just like that. Remember like it was just an hour ago. Comes off, boom, I go, wow, that's cool. And I, and I bring the thing down, I'm on my chest. In the Tomcat, the back seat goes first. And so as I'm looking down, he pulls the handle and my head stays there, but my, my ejection seat goes up and so I get, my head snaps and I get knocked out. And so I don't, I don't know what's going on until all of a sudden the, uh, you have seat man separation, the seat separates from you, and then the parachute automatically opens up and uh, the opening shot from the parachute woke me up.